Welcome to Drum of the Turnstile. I'm Jez Bot. I'm Timmy Taco. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Four more years. Four, Four more, more years. years. <laughs> Four more years. Yeah, the erection, uh, yep. the state erections. <laughs> the politics. <laughs> politics, state erections. <laughs> Love it. Uh, so Yeah, your vote never counts. No, and then let's, let's just go back one step from that. We skipped a week. Oh, yeah, we did. You gotta, every once in a while, you just got to- Smell well, the roses. Well, it's the first week this year that we haven't put Is it? a pot up, so it's like just a, a well-deserved holiday. Yeah, I reckon. But uh, lots work, of, uh, lots work of slash uh, life slash uh, the sniffles. Mm. Had the sniffles this week, first time in bloody- Oh, no. An outbreak. Eons. Eons FM. <laughs> Was it an outbreak? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seems to be going around, doesn't it? It does. I'm uh, not happy about it. Went up to the bloody tip, mm. and there was a lady out the front with a sign saying, um, stop here, and she gave us a pamphlet of where else we could go, because she says, it's, there's been an outbreak. Of what? And I said, of what? <laughs> <laughs> she said, COVID. And I snapped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said, it's not even fucking real. And um, grab the pamphlet and drove off. Well, it's not At this real stage, when, you've got to, when you're in the queue to dump your dump your load, so to speak. Yeah, uh, it's relatively non-contact. You go to the window; yeah. they overcharge you for yes, starters. Definitely, there's an outbreak in fucking overcharging at tips. Yes, especially yes. that particular tip. That one's it. But you drive around, they sting you. You back one up. Mm. You take a big old messy dump on the pile, <sighs> and then you drive off. Yeah, it's, it's all no outdoors. No contact outdoors. All outdoors. Yep. And if your masks work, just bloody wear that. I guess. I guess. But it's council, so it's like any chance. I, I reckon they've had the directive, right, if you hear of anyone sniffling, shut it down. Get yeah. everyone tested and shut it down. Can't we just send uh, that I'm, cunt home? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. What's, what's, what's define outbreak? Because I've seen the movie- yeah, that's and that horrible. Had, that had monkeys, that had monkey bites, that had scientists. Poxes. That had, uh, <clears throat> you know, scrambling uh, military um, response. I think the use I think the use of uh, outbreak and- um, Pandemic. Is, uh, there, people are slinging it around. Mm, they are. You know? Yes. Like the kids, for example. A little too loosely. Little, the kids, for example, you can just go to school these days and just go- I don't feel a little bit well. Mm. And they just, you get a week off, if you like, if you so do, do so please. Yeah. And the kids do so please. <laughs> Whenever they please, <laughs> they do so. <laughs> it used to just be you get a cold and you go to school. So where's the nearest tip from there? One turner. Oh. <laughs> so, but it was half price. Is it? So I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. Okay. Yeah. So they did just. I'm solid. black banning them. They did just big, a big, hard, water. firm, steaming solid. Oh, just so <laughs> annoying. It's really, really annoying. And 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 let's just call while we're calling the tip out. Mm. Uh, tip closes at what time? Oh, it closes at three. because oh. of COVID. It's and the COVID hours. close at what time? Four <laughs> thirty. <laughs> so you're gonna leave work at two. At two. To get there. So, two and a half hours. You've got to be packing up, making sure everything's good to go. So, you get the half an hour drive wherever you are. To, to take the dump that is Yeah, and then it all depends hour. who's on the desk. Yeah. How much it's going to cost you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Suck on that mother's milk there, Tim. Drinking beers. <laughs> it's a Sunday. It it's is. the day after the erections. Yeah, and, well, are uh, you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. It was almost like it was predetermined. Yeah, it uh, makes me throat sore saying, um, Sir Andrew, <laughs> uh, with uh, little little to no result. Yeah, like so many protests. Mm. It's, there's been dudes picketing and protesting and, you know, shut, like, restaurants this, have been this shut down. Thing. We've been. Yeah. This is the thing, right? 
the, the, the make your votes count. Hmm. This, that, the other. Right, so I go up to fucking <laughs> my school, mm. which I've been going to for twenty years, yeah. and the old bloke, two, two, two men back in the queue, forty-five years he's been going there, mm. and uh, they come out and they say, Ashwood, if, are you from Ashwood? No, no. Oh, all Ashwood, because because we've rezoned, mm. and this is no longer Glen Waverley, so you have to join the absentee vote line, right? Oh. And it's a forty-five minute mark from here. 10 people in mm. 45 minutes because they've got one big fat fatty old Cheryl Ann on one laptop doing yeah. absentee votes. You know, they all get paid as well. Yeah, but like. I thought they're all just volunteers because they but, love politics. So the old bloke says, it's a bloody outrage. This is a bloody outrage. Where, where, are we, where are we supposed to go? Oh, I don't know. I don't mm. know, actually. I have to ask my supervisor. No, none of that. None of that. Just a blatant all out. No, I don't know where you, where you go. Wouldn't you think that with rezoning, you've got the you're equipped with the advice of telling people, okay, it's a forty five minute away from yeah, hmm. and you can go yeah 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 <laughs> for your voting, and this is this is a longer wait because they they rezoned. Sorry, you know, blah blah blinging blingy blah. Um, so I waited for an hour. And I got right to the front, and, I, An and I turned. I turned to the dudes behind me, and I went, "I think I'm gonna fucking bail." And they went, "Don't, don't! You're nearly there. You're nearly there. You're nearly there." <laughs> and I went, "All right," and they let me back in the queue. Line buddies, line buddies. That's no good. And um, and, and I make no eye contact. Ra- when I'm rallyers, voting. people. You know how people rally when they go. God, this is just not good enough, and they expect you to sort yeah. of like go along with it. Yeah. I don't like that. The huffing in the line. Yeah, the huffing <laughs> and the puffing. And then I'm supposed ridiculous. to and I'm supposed to turn around and get not yeah, give the old nod ridiculous. of like Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, you're <clears> right. <throat> it is a bloody outrage. It is a bloody outrage. Twelve years it's uh it's gonna be in for. Well, he's won twice and this is his third uh, okay. term, so it's another four years. All right. So anyway, so, so if you voted for that cunt, <laughs> you're a fuckwit. Yeah. Right, but I'll also say, in all fairness, if you voted for the other cunt, you're a fuckwit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Well, that other guy was like a, a wet handshake. Yeah, yeah. You never just like why, why? Why is that when you know your chances are pretty slimity dim dam do da? Right, and then you put like you say a wet handshake in against someone where you go, oh, but it- this is our this is our great white hope. I would have said like. <laughs> The liberals uh, would have been going, ah, oh, this is a shoe in He's locked everyone down. He's got the cops to shoot on protesters. All the businesses have been shut down. He's a prick. There's always uh, protests. He can't even go into his own electorate no. without getting booed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's put in a really strong candidate, someone that's like a firm handshake, someone li- with like- I got a firm handshake. Well, it just so happens I've Soaking got- wet. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> well, I wrote a whole bunch. Hold on a You want someone with like the clamp hands or, or like mullet hands as your leader. Someone with an anvil fist, a marble grip, diamond digits. Yeah, but you know what? When it comes down to that, um, you, you want an iron fist handshake, mm. but you don't want an iron fist leader. Leader? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want you know? a steel fist, but uh, handy hammers, you know. Mm. Beef fingers, knuckle nuggets, glove mittens. You know. mm. Yeah, yeah. You want someone? Um, it's, it's just this, like this. Uh, promises, promises. You know, like um, there's all promises and no delivery mm. on on all fronts. Everything. Yeah, no one's no one's held accountable for their greens policies. You know, uh, is is are we talking greens because they're like for the environment is that what the greens are yeah. is the cu- party just colored green <laughs> like in um pot primary school and you've got yeah. your team colors team colors their team green blue red <laughs> who's gold the independence it is like school sports it kind of is into school sports and um it's terrible you know like these uh if you vote you know what like if you vote one way it's a waste. If you vote the other way, it's a fucking waste. Mm. Right. So And if you don't if you don't vote 
correctly, your <laughs> preferences get given to the guy who didn't want to vote for in the first place. Yeah, and then lo and behold, it's just like it's like one of those Facebook polls. Do do you like Darth Vader or Darth Maul? Mm. And then you do your vote. Vader. They, nothing. There's no. There's no real result. No, there's no result. Because well, what are we going to do? <laughs> Nothing. Like, if it's uh, let's just say it's Darth Maul, what we're going to eradicate Darth yeah, Vader gonna, forever? Yeah, we're going to cancel him forever. Yeah, because we prefer Darth Maul. You see where I'm going with this? Mm, yeah. Um, Nerd. So it's like uh, it's like a Facebook poll. It's just a poll, yeah. an idea, a census, if you will. And the other guy gets in, and he's no oh, better because the, the soaking wet handshakes have already been done behind closed doors. Yeah. You see? You notice how the um, all the polling stations, it's pencil? Mm. It's all in pencil. Mm. You've got to bring your own pen. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I, made, I made a mistake, right? Because I knew how to vote or what I was going to do. Yeah. Uh, but I wrote it in the wrong box. And I said, oh, it's, can I, have you got an eraser? And they go, yeah, we've got erasers. And I said, oh, she goes, yeah, you just scribble it out. No, because that's null and void. If you make any mistakes... Mm. Okay. And I also found out that if you do the classic donkey vote slash dick and balls routine, yeah. uh, it goes to the, it, the guy preferential that's- thing. So this is this is what I'm saying. Like let's just let's just get let's just get down to politics right here. Oh, we're into it, man. But um we're at if least you're gonna, ten if minutes. If you're gonna in. make let's just say you vote for the sex party. Mm-hmm. Like it's good. It's got sex in the title, or you or you tick the box with the marijuana leaf on it. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because you, because you're cool. Buffalo soldier, <laughs> legalize <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, and then, so because I, I overheard a conversation at this other gig, which I'll get into in a minute. Oh, please do. I want to hear every gig you've done because sure. it sounds like I want to know about the Bunnings gig. This is the gig I want to tell you about. <laughs> but I, I was listen- over listening to somebody who said just as long, you know, I just went in there, and just as long as I di- didn't get, just as long as Dan Andrews doesn't get in, I'll be I'll be bloody happy as long as my vote didn't go towards that prick. I voted for the sex party, and the other person said, you know, that's uh that's going straight to Dan Andrews. Yeah, his preferences. Oh, is it? Uh, oh. oh, well, it's too late now. Should have done me research. Yeah, it's like, know what you're doing. Well, the, the, the day before, I was, after I got, you know, blocked from the outbreak at the tip, mm-hmm. I was ropeable because I was going, oh, here we go. Council first. This is what it f- feels like how it was. Back in May 2020, oh, you know, what a time. We're just before the lockdowns, yeah. and it's like I can sense it, I can smell it. It's the, in the, the brewing, air. the brewing. Yeah, it's brewing. It's brewing for a poo. So I, I had a big uh, vent to the guy at the Bunnings Gate. Oh, saying, yeah. It's this is fucked, man. This is fucked. Yeah, they're gonna do it. He's gonna win. He's like, he's not gonna win. I was like, mark my words, mark my words, Mark. <laughs> He's going to win. Words, my words, Mark. <laughs> um, are you going to go back up there and and word up, Mark, and say, "Oh yeah, <clears throat> do, do the old told, I told you so. so." Fuck yeah, yeah. I reckon there's satisfaction in that, and you demand satisfaction. Don't you? I like a told. I told you so. Not yeah, that I do Brian, it. I Brian told do, me so. Mm, look, it's a bloody. Um, it's a fucking outrage. It's a. It's a. It's an outbreak. <laughs> <laughs> let's just an change, outbreak let's, rage. Let's change the tone. A change bit the tone myself. and. Um, so I did a gig yesterday. It's Christmas party season. I got booked for this uh, gig, which I thought was Patterson Lakes, but turned out to be Taylor's Lakes. Okay, which so is much, I, much further. Which, which I'm in the driveway. <laughs> and I'm like um, Taylor's Lakes Hotel, Taylor's Lakes. And I'm like past Coburg, Essendon ways. What oh. the f- what the shit? No, no, no. My phone's buddy um, mm. having an outbreak, right? <laughs> and uh, when you when you readdress and you readdress because you're just convinced that it's like Frankston way, fifteen mm. minutes away, and it turns out to be forty five fucking minutes away. Mm. So already, already didn't do your research. No, already the gig's ruined as far as for I'm sure. concerned. Because you've got to fucking because you got to get home as well. So that it's the home styles. It's the am I getting enough for this mm. ways? The answer is no, no. But um. They did the Bunnings thing, and I, I got I got their uh, the Bunnings, uh, Bunnings Christmas party, right? Right. So I'm, I'm playing this gig, and it's just like it's just good Christmas cash. This is why I do these stupid effing gigs. 
Don't know why I didn't say fuck. You've said fuck about 15 oh, yeah. times already, so it's fine. <coughs> I get down there and, and no one's there yet. I've set up my gear in under three and a half seconds because I'm a <laughs> trained professional. We know, you, we know how good you are, Tim. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to cough a little bit this episode because I'm just- I've, I've The rage? Bit, All no, the rage? No, no. I've got a bit of the uh, the over overspill. The cholera. Clancy overflows yeah. from Corolla this week. Um, and the guy goes, I said, okay, so what's the format? He goes, oh, I think we'll start off with a bit of R&B. And I'm like, no, 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 no. What's the format, mate? Oh, no, what types of speeches? <laughs> not, what's the not, Fefanus? Not, not, yeah. not, not the Fefanus. Don't not, tell me. I don't, don't need to know where. So he mentioned that and I, and I corrected him and he said, oh, okay, a speech is 9.30. We'll do some presentations and whatnot. I'll get mm. into that in a second. Presentations. And, um, and so I set it all up. I do me old sound check and I left the sound check on so there was background music going and it was a little bit of background chill house music while we we're all getting set up nothing mm. too ev- in, invas- 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 invasive 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 <laughs> and uh, when shifted my car because I had it on buddy in the parking spot right shifted my car to a proper spot came back and he came straight over to me and went um this isn't this doesn't sound like r and B. I I hadn't know. even Got behind the console yet. And I went, um... Uh, Gary. Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. Anthony over here. Over, over here. here. Uh, is, this, is this how this is going to go down? Is this really how it's going to happen? <clears throat> he goes, oh, what do, you, what do you mean? I said, I haven't started. I haven't this started. Is, imagine, imagine Anthony. It's like the music at Bunnings mm-hmm. in the aisles. Mm-hmm. There's no actual DJ playing. It's mm-hmm. just just a tape playing. It is. Just in the background. Yeah. It's mixed tape. Yes. Bunnings mixed tape. It's usually Billy Idol and a um, bit of Crowded it's House. Just, it's just, is this R&B? Oh. I almost, I almost head butted the bald fucking prick. Because he doesn't know. No, he doesn't know. And how, I, said, <laughs> I said, all right. He doesn't know just how. Just so you know. Your rage levels at yeah, present. Yeah, so that... that, that pissed me off right so i i'm i'm straight into i I did the whole um don't you know who i am card Mm. where i've said tony 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 tone been doing this for 30 years mate and i've got over there i've got at least 30 grand in it so i know what i'm fucking doing do not don't tell me (laughs) where to do it and how to do it, okay. Let's, let's just get that straight right yeah. right now before mm, we mm. before I fucking start. So he's the concierge. The, he's the I think party he's, planner. I think he's the. Uh, is it a, is it Bunnings Hanks wide? No, nah, it's just Taylor's Lakes. Um, Bunnings. Bunnings. So staff, how many? Staff oh, it was. It was supposed to be fifty, but it was really seventy. Now, is it man- mandatory to go to nah. the party? Uh, Do you get so, paid to go to the party? No, no. Were they handing out? Was it free beers? No. Was it ticketed? You had to get. You yes. get everyone gets five, ten drink tickets. Uh, they they may have done that, but like by the time I went to go get my drink, mm. so like, like I've got to pick my, I've got to pick. There's just two times, one refreshment time. Timmy needs a water. Yeah. Beer or lemonade? You never drink a gig. I don't. Never. I don't. So I'm not going to abuse the bar, like. Oh, just like a water. I just like a water, thanks. And um, and the other one is um, pissy pissy pants time. I, I like go for refreshment and my necessaries. Okay. Right, they're the only two breaks I get. So I got to pick me in bloody moments. Sure. Because if can't you can't be when, when you dance and everyone's dancing. Can't it's- be at the peak. It's got to be before that time. And if I leave the turn bloody tables, mm. I come back and there's um, Jack from um, Paint Shop mm. with me headphones on. I'll take it from here. No, nah, just just doing a simulation for the photos and, the, and everyone's going, uh-huh. oh, look at that, Johnny. Denise is a clown. He's a clown over here. <laughs> right? So- and I got thirty. I've got at least thirty grand in this fucking shit. So right, don't with the equipment. Touch, yeah, don't touch. Yeah. Don't like. Yeah. It's not cool, man. Like, if you want to come and get a photo, I'll, I'll let you have a photo. I like, think you should have had some uh, workplace safety cones 
Uh, that's what they understand, these people. Fluoro. I do set up a, a, um, a distance barrier with yeah. me, with me uh, clotho. Yeah. Like, so you have to lean over to get to me. Yeah, definitely. I've learned that. The, the, Separate um, it. The easy way. But anyway, <coughs> pick my time, go up to the bar, and the staff knows I've been there longer than the staff have. So they've seen me setting up. They know I'm, they know I'm working. They know I'm not Bunnings. Definitely. So I've just gone up and I've just gone, can I just grab a beer? Because clearly it's going to be a, a tab because surely Bunnings is looking after their you workers, think so. right? And she goes, oh, you know, you have to pay for beers. And I went, no, no, I'm, I'm working. She goes, no, no, you, you have to pay. I went, okay, I'll have a lemonade then. <laughs> How much right? is uh, $3.70? No, and she goes, no, you know, you have to pay for lemonades too. And I said, okay, well then fuck off. <laughs> and I walked know. away. Because I I'm, I'm get pissed, right? <laughs> I don't get pissed. Glug, 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 glug. You get angry. I get annoyed. Because, mm. again, don't you know who I am? <laughs> I'm not- I'm, You're the Bunnings DJ. I'm not the guy. Give me give me your beer. The, okay, I, maybe charge me for a beer, whatever. Yeah. But like, the one cent it costs you to squirt out, mm. which is 90% ice- You think a bit uh, of a- 5% water- and five percent syrup. syrup, so it's not even a cent. So give me a lemonade because I've just Please. downgraded from it. From it, nah, nah, nah. So I went, ah, oh, fuck yeah, fuck <laughs> off, fuck yeah, fuck off. Because yeah, I do, fair I do not pay, pay for, for drinks. I don't pay for drinks. I haven't bought. <laughs> I seriously have not handed money over a bar for a drink in fifteen years. Yeah, if you were working, so I can wear. <laughs> 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 it should be in it just, your, it it should be in your rider. It is in my fucking rider. One water, one water, one please. Piss break <laughs> and or a lemonade, <laughs> maybe one beverage, one beer. I mean, I've been uh, at gigs. Even, I, even, I've been at gigs where you've just like been going, ordering beers and then just handing it straight to me, straight to Vanessa, yeah. straight to yeah. Because <laughs> if I'm not going to drink it, I'm still earning it. See what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Everyone, two cans per man per day. Yeah. So that, that that pissed me off. The yeah, other thing enough. that really fucking irked, jerked, irked, jerked, 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 jerked. Irked, was they got to, it got to eleven o'clock, and it's in a it's in a um, it's in like a tab um, oh. venue. Okay, so it's already like sign in, sign out kind of steve. Oh, Do you know what geez. I mean? When they're fucking, they're, we're ridiculously overstaffed and everybody is under pressure from their managers and upper management. Like everybody- So you're in a function room. Function room. At the TAB. Yeah. With- At Taylor's Lakes. With, with Bunnings. And slot machines in the poke. In the pokies. background. Up the stairs where I'll get to in and a And the set. smoking area and a, so a the, bistro. So the glass sliding doors that lead out to- like a tiny little short path at the end of the path was my car ready to, ready to pack up mm. at the end of the night. I know I'm jumping f- forward here, but they closed the glass doors and the security guys like telling people, the patrons that, that we're, they're still there for another hour mm. telling them they can't go out the front anymore. They have to, if they want to go out the front, they've <sighs> got to go through the gaming room, up the stairs, through the gaming room, out through the foyer and then out that way, and then walk down the path back to stand outside with their friends outside the glass door, which is a meter away, right? It's just how it works around here. Yeah. So I said to the security dude, so um, just to be clear, like when I pack up, I'm going to load my gear through here. He's like, no, no, no one's allowed to go through. You're going to have to go through the showroom. And I said, no fucking way. <laughs> No fucking way. Okay. Tacos. No, 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 no. You won't be allowed to. You won't be allowed to. Allowed? Oh, no, 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 no. It's a key, mate. Open the door. It's a button. And I said, go get the fucking manager. And I'll tell that prick that I'm fucking out loading through that door. Gotcha. In 20 minutes. <laughs> Dickhead. So, you're doing roadieing, DJing, and security. And- and um, and um Lighting and promotion. And yeah, and and country <laughs> to boot. Being a prick's free. Yeah, uh, um, manager came, straight, manager came straight over yep. and pressed the button. I was allowed to leave. Oh, couldn't really? Talk. Yeah, couldn't couldn't believe it. Oh, now the music stopped. Yeah, it's just because when the the neighbors of the neighbors complain. I'm just what like, name? I just want to fucking go home. Yeah, 
Never come back here. I don't care about Taylor's Lakes and when this place burns down mysteriously <laughs> in an hour. I don't care. I'm not going up the stairs and through the game. From- no, they want you to go through the, the lobby. They want me to pass. No, they want me to pass through the fucking mm. slottos. Yeah. See all, the, see all the misery. Put in my two cents, so to speak. But um, so they do the awards cer- ceremonies and um, they do the awards ceremony and um, they do like uh, a motivation award and oh, yeah, uh, all, that, all that. Yeah, the funniest yeah, that's it. Like the um, the latest, the person who rocks yeah, the that kind of, that kind yeah, of shit. Yeah. And Jackie took the golden hammer. Gotcha. Right? So I hit him with uh, when when she won the award, she was a bit shy to talk to say thank you. It's fair enough, putting mm. her on the bloody spot. First of all, she said she got on the mic and said, "What is it?" <laughs> <laughs> she must have just started there. She said, what is it? And I had to explain what the award was. A golden hammer. For the award of um, outstanding Ele- uh, excellence. in the field of excellence, yeah. And um, and then I hit the, I hit the song, Jack, 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 Jackie. Nice. And everybody had a bit of a, had a laugh and chuckle. And, and Were they dancing? No, they weren't dancing. Oh, they eventually danced, whatever. Okay. That's, that's neither here nor there. But I, I later on went up to Jackie and I said, you wanted to quit last week, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I said, you realise now they're going to make you work 10 times harder. Yeah. She went, yeah. Yeah. I said, yeah. fuck this joint. This is your rising star. Fuck that joint. You're obviously above Bunnings. Quit. Standard. You should quit. <laughs> you should. Get in her ear. Yeah. Okay, uh, Tim. Yep. It's, you've had a bloody- No, nah, it's just, it just pisses me off because like- Later on, Anthony kept giving me, like, stinky intel. Mm. Like, you know, like, um, I had everyone up going. It's it's hard to work a room. So, you got to try and... It's like trying to get 75 people off. Yeah, and they've all right? got different kinks. <laughs> they do. Everyone's got a different kink. It's very difficult. Right? So, so here I am successfully getting everyone off. <laughs> right? You'd hope so. Well, the- it's, it's... I'm going... Full bukkake, right? Gosh, yeah, it's great. It's- <laughs> and um, and Anthony gives me bad intel. Oh, oh, can you hit him with some some top twenty? What? All right. I'm like, uh, from what year? Top this year. Yeah. I'm like, ooh, yeah. They're all fifty and over. They're not gonna dig it. They ain't gonna dig it, man. How old's Anthony? Anthony's uh, probably. 49 to 52, second way. <laughs> right? Mm. And, of course, his intel clears the floor. So, it takes, it me, it takes me six songs yeah. to get him back. Oh, you got to pull out Robin And we're losing Figgy. time. We're you losing, go, we're losing, you got to go Marvin Gaye. We're losing time. Mark Jackson. And what happens is, is if you don't keep... Um, if, you're not, if you're not consistent with the stroke... No one's getting off. No. You follow me? Timing's everything. Timing is everything, right? Stamina is everything. Yeah. So, if I, if people go, if, if the dance floor is dance a bit, drink a bit, talk a bit, walk a bit. Smoke a bit. Smoke a bit. Gamble. I can't, I can't keep them on the floor. No, it's all diff- wanna, Well, you want to set the standard, like, let's get down to business. Oh, I think no one wants Shit's- to be there in the first place. No, they don't. No, they don't. Especially around this time of year. The venue shut it down half an hour early. They went, right, wrap it up. Why? Well, there was only about 10 left. Okay. So, fair enough. I did get home an hour early. So, these presentations, this is the the death nail in any party. As soon as the speeches are done, everyone bails. Yeah. And don't also, have speeches if you also, want to have a party. Also, it's, it's like when you're hanging out with your teachers in civilian clothes, and they're just like, it's like running into the team. Yeah. And teacher it's all- it's all varied Super. ages and types of people up at Bunnies. Yeah, and they're all- You know, got the different hobbies. It's not like you're-, you're They're all fucking common. dipsticks. Oh, can I say that? No. You can't say it. Okay. Okay. Down there at that particular- Okay. Bunnies. Fair enough. They're, they're dipping the stick deep in look, the, in look, the paint barrel. This is the, this is the thing about your Bunnies and anywhere, really. 
There's always some gems hidden there that know where oh, all the Jack, stuff. You got Jackie. Yeah, she's, she's a, a star. Yeah, she's a golden. You got Richo. You got Richo, Scotty. Scotty. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. You got a few people that know how to run the service desk. And yeah. The, the fast ones in the paint shop. There's, there's there's some golden golden eggs in the. Yeah, there is in the bad batch of. But uh, the rest of them don't want to be there. Don't know where anything is. Don't give a shit. To don't find give a out. shit. No. Nah. They don't want to load and go. Yeah. Ah, uh, there are a bunch of tool shops. <laughs> is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a. Well, well at least you got paid. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's an upside. I don't there. think There's if they hear there, this, yeah. you're getting it I don't next year. Shit, come at me. <laughs> come at me. What was? What's my name? What's my real name? DJ Relic. <laughs> <laughs> is it? I wasn't there as that. Yeah, so this is why I don't put uh, like advertising on my car. No. Because I don't want people to be able to call me and go, hey, yeah, you're a prick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you cut me off. That's why'd true. You, why'd that you beat my horn, your horn at me? Is that, a, um, is that a workplace faux pas? Or are you not legit unless you got... It used to be you're not legit unless you got a um, business card. Then you're not legit unless you've got a website. Mm. Are you not legit if you don't have some kind Sign, of signage, signage on your car? Are you uh, the business subby? Card, are you the, a subby? Business card's the best way. Is it? Yeah, because you don't want randos in traffic just going, oh, there's a plumber. Here's a chippy. Like, I guess it cuts it, the conversation out, the description. Like you go, if they say, do you do fences? You go, whoosh. And then back to work. You hit well, that's it. Card. Well, yesterday I was I was building a. It was a Saturday, uh, so everyone's out and about, and it was a thoroughfare, like a bus, a big wide road, and <clears throat> heaps of bike riders. And I'm building this sick picket fence. Um, so I was I was um, you know fanning out business cards, and oh, I actually right. just got I just got a message from one of them then. Right, wanting some work. So I think work. that's about because they see your work, they see who you are. And then they see you working fast and, and clean. They, and, and then you're literally in their pocket. And I'm in their they, street and I'm around that area. Yeah, And then gotcha. you get, get stuck in an area and every time you're out there, you get more business cards. and Yeah, gotcha. And then before you know it, you've done like 800 kilometers of fencing. fencing. I hope so. That'd be great. <laughs> I wanted to start a, um, start a business. Mm. Call it a fencing. A fencing. Yeah, because then you're first in the yellow pages. Uh -huh. For starters, a offensive, and then you rock up and you're just a prick. You are an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're quite nice, but you say things that aren't quite nice. <laughs> yeah, just like this podcast. <laughs> Pretty I, much. I was thinking about. Now I'll pitch this. Sure. Hmm. Is it a movie or is it a service? I'm not or a series. I'm not. I'm not really sure. But I think it's a want. A bed butler. You know, usually, well, what is a bed butler? Mm. Usually your your butler goes home, Jeeves, goes home or goes up to the attic or downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. <laughs> he goes up to the attic, does he? Well, wherever he's caught. Oh, into are. the box. Yeah. That's a ventriloquist doll, by the way. But yeah, but dressed I think up as a butler. He is. Yeah. But every, I think it's, it'd be, you know, like nighttime is when I want my most help. So if I wake up in the middle of the night, bed butler is just in the room watching me and if i get out of bed if i need to take a piss he helps me out of my bed he walks me to the he turns the light on it turns the light on yeah. or has a dim torch would be nice yeah well you don't want to wake up. he's on lighting he knows what to do okay so he ushers me there he shakes shakes me off <laughs> has a has a dab down Walks me back to bed, tucks, tucks me in. If I'm Kiss thirsty, on the yeah. If I'm thirsty, glass milk. <laughs> just glass of milk. If I'm a bit, you know, sneezy, has some tissues back there. Bed butler, a bed butler, or a nocturnal nurse. See, rock up, yeah. Nocturnal nurse is not so bad because she she regulates temperature. She takes your temperature while yeah, you're from, from three, three from different- From under the doona. Yeah. She slips a, a cold, cold hand in yeah. with a little thermometer and, then, and takes a variety of temperatures from <laughs> top to different bottom. Different areas. <laughs> right, from soup to nuts. Mm. And then if your lower half is showing a higher temperature, one leg in, one leg out. That's right. <laughs> she's, it's, she remedies. I like it. Yeah, she's watching for mosquitoes. Yeah. Nocturnal nurse. Nocturnal nurse. But if you're- Do they rock up just after din dins? So, so like- Right. Because you know how you have a big feed- 
Mm. You hit the couch, and then and then you start you hit the dozer. Well, you there's another the character. Off. There's Is another there? character. Another yeah. player. Yeah, there's another player that's there. Basically, I think after, I think after work, the sleep sergeant rocks up. He's he, he gets you prepared to go to bed, making sure you're making all the right moves. Have you had your shower? Did you do your quotes? Move it, move, move it. it, move it. Have your dinner, clean up. Yeah, because the night nurse, the nocturnal nurse, is about to rock up. Yeah, yeah. What time does the butler go there? The bed butler yeah. in the morning, I think maybe. Oh, he's good. Yeah, he he he's good gets for the you, morning. He gets you um, your work shirt ironed. Aha. Uh-huh. Your boots um, clean, de-loused. ready. Yeah. Uh, he finds the matching socks. Be- uh, breakfast in the dark. In bed. Yeah, Breco. No, it's coffee. He's got your coffee ready. Yeah, that's right. We don't really like to eat in the bloody morning, but no. Uh, But then, like, you have a dream doctor as well. Okay. Because I've been spitting my teeth out in my dreams. Like, it's getting, like, I can't even close my mouth. Like, there's so many teeth falling out of it. Yeah, right. And then I'm pulling out my tongue, and then I'm pulling out bloody, (laughs) like, my jaw, half my jawbone. That one's... And it's like, hey, how am I going to get dental work for that? I can barely afford a filling. Mm, that's true. Uh, yeah, so that'd be good just to have a doctor on board. I reckon board. have him on call. A dream doctor? Yeah, the dream doctor. So, yeah, you got him on speed dial, right? Mm. So, he doesn't have to come in because he's got a lot of clients, okay? So, <clears throat> not, um, nocturnal nurse, um, no, sorry, bed butler gives you a gentle little... Wakey, wakey. Wake, 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 wake. It's, it's, sir. Time, it's time to go to work, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> and then you just go over. He hands the phone to you and the dream, uh, dream doctors. You go, right, I was, I was spitting teeth. I was flying. I, what it's does like, this mean? Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. The, uh, and then he could do also a melatonin mind meld. Okay. Okay. <laughs> just over the phone if you need it. Or maybe that's uh, inserted by the nocturnal nurse. <laughs> yeah, she- but I like the sleep sergeant. Sleep sergeant keeps you on the straight and narrow. Does he, he stop does you he from- Makes you drink water before you go to bed. That's for sure. Does strong. he carry you from the couch to the bed? Ready for the nocturnal mm. nurse? So I don't think he would let you fall asleep on the couch. He no, makes sure you- that's He makes sure wife. he gets- <laughs> He wants to make sure you get, <laughs> get to bed. Because that's what my wife- seems to be the sleep sergeant right right so if i if i doze off she's, she's like, like get in bed it's like I just close my eyes so i love a good i love a good um couch nap sure right? who doesn't i just, just the sleep sergeant doesn't sleep sergeant i think is like a strong man that, that is all procedural right right so, your necessaries, your din-dins, your clean-up, mm. your couch pillow. He goes, fetches your couch pillow for you. That's so right. That's pretty cool. scooch down. Yeah. You fall asleep. He's a strong, hard man that knows how to carry the, um, the soldier. Mm. Oh, that's the true. Battlefield that's, into that the battlefield <laughs> into the med bed, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nocturnal nurse kicks in. Yeah. Right? Does your necessaries. Does your necessaries. Gets your temperature all gauged. Yes. She's watch. She's on watch. She's on watch. If you need stuff through the middle of the night, yeah. she, she's the kind of gal that'll get you a glass of water. Yeah, definitely. Or but you'll wake have- up and she'll have a she'll insert a straw into your mouth and you just go it sucks. That is true. <laughs> and maybe know. maybe you don't even have to get out of bed anymore. It's one of I those. Think you do. It's one of those uh, piss cups. Mm. So it's time for your it's totally, time for your piss. You go totally tubular. Yeah, because you know that. Well, she knows that, it, like, it's five o'clock. It's either four thirty, five o'clock, this guy pisses, so. Yeah, yeah. She's got a tight schedule yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the night. But that's, what get, I'd, that's yeah, how I'd be spending talking, my money if I had We're talking, it. um, because you share your bed with a partner. So, is she servicing both parties mm. or do we have a team? Is there two of each of these of these workers? Yeah, I do want someone just watching me. Oh, okay. I don't want her not watching <laughs> yeah, during because the night. Yeah, Cass might have to get her own. You might toss and turn, can't sleep at night, and- um, Well, she, she's got, yeah, she's got different sleep habits to me. Yeah, okay. She comes to bed at a different time. She's, she rolls around a bit more. If she's got way more pillows. Will a, the nocturnal a full-time nurse- full-time job over that side of the bed. 
Uh, will the nocturnal nurse cable tie Cass's legs together? Quite possibly. <laughs> <laughs> to stop the Jimmy, Jimmy leg. Jimmy leg. <laughs> uh, no, will she's on mag- magnesium tablets now. Is it? So, this is the, it helps you uh, stop the jitters, I think. Is it? Mm, so there's something like that. She's on heaps of little pills next to the bed. Yeah, the magnesium bath, right? Cause yeah, I had one the other day. Between, there's a difference between your absorption level of a magnesium um, pill and the bath, right? Bath salts. So what do they call it? Um, what's it called? Epsom? Epsom salts. Epsom salts. Yeah. Epsom yeah, salts. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great. Yeah. Um, does it... Uh, that's, that's more of a muscular thing. But you're saying the other... So, do you think taking the tablets is a... It's a muscle relaxant? Is that what it is? So that she doesn't, she doesn't get the Jimmy leg? Like, what's... what's Maybe it's it, just a, a lack of, like, a craving. It's like, oh, I need that mag. I need that Maggie. Gotta get it. <laughs> gotta get the Maggie. Yeah. Because uh, right. I'm lacking in it for some yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> but look, you don't even really need to think about it because you've got the whole team around you. Yeah, you've got your night team. Yeah. And then what about daytime? Are you just free to roam? Because mm. I kind of want security during the day more than the, the doctor team. Yeah, I think uh, I think if you, you're you all right. You don't want... You don't want f- fucking people hovering around you during the day like no like, we don't know they're there they're you just, don't want to know distance. the night team is is sight unseen the, the only people that you ever see really is the sleep sergeant and the true, bed butler true, true. right the nocturnal nurse <laughs> don't really know what she even she's looks gone like. she's like an owl because it's pitch black in this room it's, it's and she's dark. got night goggles she's got yeah and I vision. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's my biggest thing. I, I wouldn't get up. If there was no light and no sound, I would sleep for 24 hours, I reckon. And at she's least get 18 not allowed hours to breathe. Or she has to breathe into a cloth so as to not make any sound. Because if she blinks hard enough, has a nose whistle, mm. or has has a bad habit where she's like reading or... It's, there's also tech. So there's, you know, noise cancellation. Beep. <laughs> Beep. Noise cancellation headphones. Okay. Specially designed. Eye gogs. Do you know what it is? <laughs> what is Sound uh, cancellation pillows. Okay. Because yeah. you know how you're always covering your head in pillows to try to block out the noise? Yeah, sure. But it's not. Oh, look, I can't keep doing this on the podcast, like giving out all my ideas. <clears throat> can I, f- I found out. I Isn't found this out. Where we do these <laughs> things. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I found out that they. Listen. Well, listened and maybe didn't steal my idea. Maybe it's just universal. No, but you put it out there. I put it out there. The old picture frame, really sleek, nice picture frame that's in your hallway. Yeah. Um, they haven't gone this far. They've gone just connected to your Wi-Fi. But I wanted it connected to a camera at your front door. Facial, facial recognition. recognition. So if you rock up to my house, all the photo frames in the house go up to Taco, family, 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 yeah, you know, wedding and your yeah, wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah you so represent it. What the hell? I've always got my photos up. I think what? that's still a good thing. I think that's still- But a- apparently it's uh, really sleek and it's blowing people's mi- uh, old people's minds. Oh, and, of course you know. it is. Of course it is. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, yeah, all of these ideas are up for grabs, honestly, because I'm never doing any of them. Um, I'm more of an idea. The night team seems a bit on the expensive side. On the nose? (laughs) What about as a show? Uh, Nah. uh, I don't know. I think as a concept, as a- um, What about a series of action figures? Uh, You can make those toys. I think I want these these things to happen, though. I want somebody pampering me. Um, Well, it is pampering, isn't it? It is. It's a full pamp. But I don't necessarily want to be touched during the night either. Yeah, pam- like I don't want someone rubbing my feet as I go to sleep. I don't think, which would be well, might be nice. No, Fifteen minute foot rub. It's not gonna make you go to sleep. No, it's, it's not, not make you go to sleep. You're gonna be like, okay, fuck off now. Also, someone does the sleep sergeant turn the TV off? Like that's enough. Well, that's he does that on his way out. Yeah, right. That's yeah. it. Cut it off. Lights off. Cut it off. Lights down. Shut it down. Ready for the nocturnal. <laughs> she fucking clock, <laughs> clocks in. <laughs> Genius. Um, it it's good stuff. Any other, any other pitch that bitch or? Uh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, I did have a pitch for an episode where we put my uh, hair on trial 
Okay. Because it's getting long. Right. And I'm getting older. Sure. And it is a long ponytail. It's usually up in a man bun, but when it's not, it's basically just a middle aged man with a ponytail. Ponytail, yeah. I mean, I pull it off, let's be honest, but. I thank you. <laughs> it's, it's long. Okay. And so maybe we I should, <laughs> we should uh, have a bit of a trial, the pros, the cons, and then I'll either keep it or cut it. Okay, keep or cut. That'll be um, probably more visual than anything else, but is it a uh, is it a fast growing follic? It'll or grow back. It, uh, it It'll will? grow back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No I mean, stress this is there. not the first time. This is not my first ponytail. No. Okay. No. But why don't you uh, mix it up? I mean, it's well. The, the reason I don't mix it up is because you have to keep it up. You have to maintain a haircut. You're always yeah, but this, this going is like, let's to just go, let's the just hairdresser. Let's take it back one step, right? And you're that, brushing it. That, you, that, that when you give up, when you inevitably give up, yeah, like, let's just say, for example, your fedoras. Yeah, I gave up my fedoras. <laughs> right? I'm not a hat guy. I don't want to be a hat man, you say. Well, I don't want to be a, like a cap is fine. But you don't want to be a one-tail pony or one-trick pony. A ponytail and a fedora puts me in the category I don't want to be in. That's so, uh, middle age, uh, and, and here's here's the rub, right? <laughs> when I get my hair cut and I'm maintaining a haircut, it's usually short, right? Sure. Um, it's a bother because it's very straight. Yeah, so I've, got a, I've got a brush, blah blah blah, and I feel self conscious about it. So I wear a cap until it grows back. And gotcha. in the meantime, my neck has been burnt a thousand times. Yeah, so it doesn't have point? a bushy, yeah, bushy so, yeah. Plus, the power is in the hair. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like four. And I guess I guess if you've got a ponytail hanging out the back and you've got a hat on the top, people are going to be less likely to think you're wearing the hat because you're going bald. Is oh, it? no. I get that all the time. Do you? Are you bald? Even with the ponytail? Yeah. yeah. Are you bald? Mm. No, I'm not fucking bald. Look well, they, they were only seeing me in a hat. Every time I'd go to a party, I was wearing a fedora or a thing or this or that. Straw hat. I get no hat comments. I only get, um, I only get um, no hat comments. When I wear a no hat. It's like, why aren't you wearing a hat? Yeah. Where's the hat? It's like- I, ha- it's, I love it's the, the ones- I, you, It's you- the guy in the hat, not the hat in the guy. <laughs> or whatever. The, you know what I mean? What are these places that always say you can't wear hats? I'm sure we've been to gigs and it's like- There's no, plenty of places no like that. No hat rule. There's plenty of places like that. But like, you know what I- You know, you know the thing about me is I hate every single fucking thing. rule. And no <laughs> rule ever applies to me. Right? I'm yeah, an right. exception to the rule. Gotcha. Right? What, taxes? Or do you pay or not? Depends. <laughs> How much I've earned. Let's just put it that way. Usually I don't. They owe me money. No. Well, let's just put it this way. The rule is get your taxes in on time. No. Mm. I don't. I don't. Right? They really st- they sting you though, don't they? No, they don't. Have I ever got a fine? Oh, no. You're right. Gotcha. Tax gotcha. time. No, because when I put my tax in, they go, oh, okay, he's right in the piss end of society, right? <laughs> Under the radar. They're not so coming after me next no, tax time. No. They're not taxing. And, and good luck r- getting up in that crawl space <laughs> and finding all the receipts in there. And they all fade anyway. You're supposed to keep your yeah, receipts what for is five with the ink? years. What's with the ink on um, the likes of uh, petrol station- um, Receipts. Receipt generators, mm. right? That- you go, you get the receipt, fresh print, fold it, put it in wallet, right? Yeah. A year goes past. You take it out. It's tax time. You open it up, print's fallen off. Print's where, fallen off. Where does the print go? Where does it go? That's a good question. Because we're talking like, there. there's not much movement in a wallet. Once you've they got f- they figured it. out that ink's expensive. Well, it is. So they figured out a way to use less of it somehow on those receipts. But but come tax time, it's like so oh god, <laughs> I'm got to think about the optometrist, and you know, like my eyes are failing. And uh, is the print actually there, or do I need to like get me glasses? Right. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, it's time to question everything. Am I good enough? Have I earned <laughs> enough? <laughs> Am I contributing? Do we enough? have a future? Yeah. Am I, should it's, I have died by now? How have I made it this far? And how have I made it this far in the podcast? My voice 
Yeah, well, Sesame we're almost we're at the tail end of it. I'm oh, sure. Yeah, we are, but we are. So I'm you know, the the, this, this, pro- this is the thing that the, the power is in the hair. It's the power of the voice. The longer the, my hair gets, the deeper my voice gets. Right. The more control I get. Over it. So you <laughs> need to grow your hair. And that's why I have such a high voice that's over crazy. here. <laughs> <laughs> over there, over here. With, what are we gonna do today, Ralph? <clears throat> oh, how's this, right? Just as a side note, we went down the pub at local. Yeah. The knot. Yeah. And I'll, I guess I'm not. We don't have time for a full review, but you know what I say. What do I say? Uh, what have I said? I hate going out. <laughs> Definitely, but okay. Do I have to go? No. Look, can we go yet? It's more about. These places that oh, yeah, do gotcha, Renos. Because gotcha, yeah, gotcha. that place was heaving with people. It's awesome up there. There's pizzas. Yeah, back there's- when it was a card- cardboard box, it was heaving as well. Yeah, but they're <laughs> draining money out of us now. You can't yeah, get a, you can't get a twelve dollar Palmer. No, There's no, no, no such no, thing. No such thing. No. I got but- to charge hundred and twenty bucks for a family meal. It's just the bloody two schnitz, um, couple of pints, couple and of pints of a bloody yeah. It's out of control yeah. and they, they're just making money hand over fist good on them I say is it but here's the rub do up the toilets oh yeah 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 yeah. why isn't that why? on the list of um, refurb why because yeah. when we were sat in that area near the Dunnies not near the Dunnies but sort of near the Dunnies yeah it could be a garden and so every time the door opens downwind I smell urinal cakes and the toilet. I know it's very distinct smell. Yeah, yeah, the Notting Hill pub. It's the flavour of the, cake. The men's you would toilet. Never order. The men's <laughs> toilet in the uni bar. Yeah. has a certain aroma. Yeah, and it always has. It's never changed. Right. The tiles are the same. Yeah, we need to have a good scrape out, boys. We do. We need we do. some it's fresh. It's in the ground. It's in the ground. It's in the concrete. It's in the plaster. Yeah, it it's is. In the, it's on the glass. Yeah, it is. Urine cakes stink. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they're up there with mothballs. Yeah, and they're just trying to mask the stink of the pipes. Yeah. Right, they so don't serve any kind of sanitary <laughs> requirements. It's somewhere to aim so you don't get splash. Gotcha. Because there's the new age um, splash mats it's doing the same thing. Yeah, that's fucking But cool. here's the thing, <laughs> right? I'm, so I'm going off about the urine cakes. Sure. And Cass had- no idea about what a urine cake was. And what I'm are you like, talking about? I was like, you know, the well, thing. How would she though? That, yeah, no, <laughs> the little disc in the toilet and the urinal. The, what you, disc? the men, the, the yellow on, disc, the yellow <laughs> disc, the yellow disc. Couldn't. And then when I'm going, smell that, smell that. Smells like that's, lemon fresh. No, it's urine cakes. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I can't ever it's have amazing. a lemon sorbet anymore. Yeah, it's this is one bit big urine cake. Mm. <clears throat> um, but. Um, yeah, like the millions of dollars that they've pumped into that. Rightly so. Millions, needs, rightly needs, so. Needs a, needs a fresh up. They had a needs great a DJ that reminded me need of an you. Oil, needed an oil change. It does right? need an oil change. But like, surely like you would work your way from toilets out, wouldn't you? I would. Well, you've got to start generating money. Kitchen, but- kitchen, kitchen refurb. Because then you could start charging more for the for the uh, for meals and stuff. Yeah, right. I did notice they got rid of the salad bar. That was a classic standard. Yeah, good COVID got rid yeah, of that. Yeah, I know. But like, bring it back. <laughs> I like it. I like a salad. Do you know what bar. I mean? Like un- unlimited salad. Because you could go up there. You could go get half a schnitz each. I and don't want. Just- I don't want to uh, go two side track. But then you used to go. Hey, you know this means something kind of. Uh, Pyramid of coleslaw. <laughs> Pyramid of coleslaw, right? Yeah. And then feed the whole family. It was coleslaw for days. Yeah. I, this is why there coleslaw, probably wasn't- cold sauce. <laughs> it's like one of the oldest pubs in Australia or Mel and Victoria. Yeah, it was the, out, it was the outpost. It yeah. was the first pub from- It's called the Halfway House. Yeah, it was- Halfway the, yeah, from yeah. Dandenong or that the, settlement. The, from the D- Dandenongs, from the city. To the Oakley and then you the- Bloody Hill Pub. Then and you to ride your bloody horse something. Yeah. Steeds was anyway. Yeah. Uh, look, I know you've pumped pump money into it. It looks great now, and it's uh, better better crowd. Um, I did get, I did get someone kicked out. Yeah. What's what happened? That's a side story. But I was just going to say the the facade gets dropped, the veil gets dropped. Um, as when soon you, as the toilet, as soon as you go into the toilets. Yeah. And so it looks it looks schmick. <laughs> 
but I'm going to be shit. Urinal cake wise, that's that's no, that's crazy. Anyway, so we know what a urinal cake was? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we get to the pub. And ask her how we're, we're in the that. beer garden, <laughs> yeah. and we're meeting up with friends we haven't seen in a while. Vanessa was there. You weren't. Um, and maybe three tables behind us was a bunch of young ones, probably t- in their early 20s. And they all looked sophisticated enough. <coughs> Sophist- <laughs> sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> but one of them was maggoted. Oh, yeah. One of the boys. Yeah. And every, say, five minutes, he would randomly go- Woo! Right? Oh, he's a wooer. There's families everywhere. It's packed with families. And we're all just trying to have a succulent Aussie meal yeah. up with a bloody pub. Yeah. And every time he shouts, yeah. I do a little bit of a <clears throat> jump. Oh, yeah. But I'm watching our friend and your wife get a bit, ag- bit okay. agitated by it. Like, it's, 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 fuck- aggr- it's, it's he's, aggressive. He's fucking that night up. It's, it's highly aggressive. Yeah. So I went, ah, this would be good for the podcast. Do you want to, <laughs> do you want me to get him kicked out? And they're like, don't go over there. And I'm like, I'm not going no, over there. I'm not getting bashed by like get 40 of his mates. Yeah. It's just like, I said, just leave it with me. Yeah. And so I went over to the bloody mat. One of the guys with all the walkie talkies, the, the bed butler or the, yeah, the sleep yeah, sergeant, yeah. the pub yeah, sergeant, yeah. Yeah. went up to him and goes, mate. The garden guard. <laughs> yeah, <there you> go. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So I said, hey, man out here with our friends and there's families around and this one idiot over there in the red jumper yep. keeps shouting out woo every five to ten minutes. I said, the rest of the party's really good, yep. but he's he's got to be gone, mate. Yep. <laughs> yep. He goes, thanks, chief. Yep. I went back to the sat down and within <laughs> 30 seconds he was over there. <laughs> With his hand on this guy's shoulder, and they're all going, like, distancing themselves from him. Oh, because like, they, okay, they don't want to get to go. They don't want to be proximity kicked they, out. So, it's, you know, <laughs> that idiot you bring, that guy. Yeah. yeah. And so, he goes, well, I don't need this, I don't need you, and gets up and basically gets kicked out. And it was, I reckon, a minute 15 turnaround. That's and good. And I was like, see? That's good. That's how you get people kicked out of a pub. And no, uh, no bloodshed, clap, no claps. They didn't you, know. Or? They okay. didn't know who who lagged in. You didn't have to virtue signal and <laughs> like saying, "I did this, I did that." I'm basically Batman. Yeah, I'm the um, pub. Uh, the and, pub. But you skimmed over. You, you skimmed oh. over. It. I rushed you through. There was a there was a taco. There was a DJ. The DJ at, at the night. <clears throat> yeah, they've set up a little outdoor okay. stage. So but then it stepped it, up. But then it pissed down. It was like torrential rains. Course, so he was playing a DJ there. I thought I didn't know there was a DJ and and but the music kept playing. I was like, hey man, this is pretty good. It sounds like one of Tim's mixtapes. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, and then I looked over and sure enough, there was a DJ. Oh, I wasn't going to go up to him and go, hey, have, you, have you taken? Oh no! I stealing you my say, brothers. How about you play some top no. twenty? Okay, good. Because no. he doesn't need intel. I might go over there and go. Would you like a beer, mate? That do would that. Be nice. Do that once in a while. That don't re- f- don't request anything Please from the DJ. That. Just bring up a beer. Don't roof it. I had I maybe had, a sealed I did, can. I did a wedding the other day, and and one chick decided to be my um, nocturnal nurse. Right, and she kept making sure that I was dosed. <laughs> so to speak <laughs> like do you need a drink almost drink? like a like almost to the point where she went where uh, do you need another drink no 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 I'm cool thanks she goes well, where's where's your other drink where's your, what do you mean you're cool and she made me get the glass and show her how much <laughs> I'd had and how much was left to determine when she was going to get me another drink I appreciate like that a, um, a wedding waitress Yes, I did, th- I did think about Wedicate slightly. Um, what about we start a new business? And we'll talk about this next week, sure. I'm sure. Um, wedding magician. Mm. Now, it's not about <laughs> b- having a magician at your wedding. Mm, maybe. You yeah, did. I did. <laughs> you yeah. had a magician celebrant. Yeah. We didn't know that until it was too late. But yeah, go. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we swoop in. You know, you know your wedding's going to be. Yeah, you know, you've got some questions, or maybe the mother-in-law's got some questions about the 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 kids' ability to organise a good wedding. You get the wedding magicians in. We make sure all the all the necessaries, the slight touches, the music, the make lighting, sure the dancing. promotion. Yeah, make sure they're dancing. You're talking about wedding crashes here. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but we don't crash. Oh, oh no! Yeah. What a shame. 
Well, that's, that's, that's we've done the music it again. Up. Sorry about talking about politics at the start of the, the yeah, top of the show, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's devastating, and I'm sure there's going to be it's some the, inquiries. And I did hear that there was lack of uh, ballots at the regional centres. A lot of people didn't have the chance to vote. Probably unfortunately, covered that at the start of the uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Same thing every year. Mm. Every year. Well, every it's always years. disappointing in the in the major election and the state election. So, having said that, <laughs> <laughs> let me say this. Go fucking <laughs> yeah. Just go um, hard Go go home Thanks for listening Yeah uh, You know I sound like a rant But I'm Timmy Targo And I'm Jez Bot. See you next week Maybe Or you'll hear us You won't see us You've never seen All us Alright enough of this They hop They duck They climb They go through Two at a time Yo jump the turnstile Jump the turnstile Jump the, the turnstile over the turnstile How we over the turnstile I had to take me It's like a ninja Jump the turnstile And it's no small thing People have to jump the turnstile I definitely jump the turnstile Jump it The turnstile I definitely would do it Once, twice I would do it over again Whenever I believe I have to do it I do it I get away with it And there was no one there So I figured it'd be Just easier to jump the turnstile well, I've jumped some fairs in my day I definitely jumped the turnstile A few times And jumped it Turnstile Instead of just paying A $2.25 That had to take me I'm full of turnstile Back. Like that, boom, boom. My whole body is not moving. It's my leg. Jump the turnstile. Jump the turnstile. The turnstile. We are the anti-bacterial wipes. This don't even look sanitary.